we're out today foraging for wild leeks. Uh, as you can see, we're in a hardwood bush. It's a beautiful rainy day in Gray County. And you can see the forest floor is just littered with leeks right now. It's a perfect time of year to go foraging. It's raining, which is actually nice. Keeps the soil nice and moist so you can dig the leeks up. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you to a nice patch. My name's Sean Adler. I'm the chef and owner of Pow Wow Cafe in the Flying Chestnut Kitchen. And I've been foraging my entire life. So spring in general is a, a great time of year for a lot of wild edibles. We're looking for uh, morels and wild leeks and fiddleheads, uh, trout lilies. They're all coming up right now in spring. It's a really vibrant time of year. Uh, all the new life is coming up and giving us uh, those nutrients that uh, we need after a long winter. So all through out here, this is uh, a lot of it is trout lily or dog's ear lily, the, the mottled looking green leaf. And the leek is the ones that are slightly larger spear shaped leaves. And I'm looking for a nice patch right in here. I can see they're nice and mature. So when harvesting wild leeks, it's really important that you never over harvest. Uh, because it's such an easily identified edible, it's first thing in the spring, everybody wants to go out and harvest. What we're finding is that people are over harvesting or harvesting in a method that isn't sustainable. So like many wild edibles, I always like to harvest from the center of a patch because how leeks propagate themselves is they'll grow up and have a flower and then they'll have seeds on the top. So in the fall, later in the summer and fall, those seeds broadcast uh, that are taken up by animals and the wind and blown around. And that's how they seed themselves. So if you s concentrate on taking a few from the center of a patch, you're ensuring that the leeks will continue to grow. Uh, so they'll be here for the future. I'll just uh, lay some tobacco down to say Chimigwich, the creator for providing for us. You just dig down and what you get is this beautiful bulb. You can pinch the root, put it back down. Very difficult to mistake a wild leek for anything dangerous or poisonous. So uh, it's a really safe uh, wild edible. One of the first ones in spring to come up. They do have this sort of pink purple stem, a nice white bulb. They're much smaller, uh, a little bit more garlicky in flavor than a, than a traditional leek that you'll find at the store. I try to do as little amount of digging as possible, really. I don't want to disturb the, the forest floor too much. That's a nice, that's a beautiful leak. And so I've taken a little section here and what I'm going to do is go to another patch where the, the leeks are nice and mature. Always ensuring that we're leaving a, a good amount of leeks around the perimeter. So we're just ensuring we're harvesting ethically. Here's how you make wild leek pesto. Thoroughly clean your leeks in cold water. Traditionally, all of these uh, wild edibles in spring are all sort of diuretics. They really uh, clean you out. You wanna ensure that you cook all of them really well. Uh, wild leeks, fiddleheads, morels, uh, you never eat any of these edibles raw. Step two, we're gonna blanch the leeks in a pot of boiling water. Next, we're gonna add them to ice water to shock them. To squeeze the leeks out, uh, this is really important because you don't want excess water in your pesto. Next, we're going to rough cut our leeks. To a mortar and pestle or blender, we add the roughly chopped leeks, sunflower seeds, Parmesan cheese, garlic, pepper, salt, and oil. Begin mashing or turn your blender on to high. Boil your pasta noodles until al dente. Heat up a pan, add the olive oil, red peppers, fresh garden peas, a pinch of salt and pepper, the pasta, and lastly, our wild leek pesto. Toss it to combine and serve with a grating of Parmesan cheese. It's a great time of year. Everything is so fresh and vibrant. It's part of our diet that uh, is really important after a long winter.
what is it? It's April, April rain brings May flowers. Is that the April, April showers bring May flowers? We're uh, May, May rain, May showers bring June. It's a beautiful day in Gray County. It's raining again. <laughs>